Hi, for this video what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to graph a quadratic function that is in vertex form um, using translations. Remember that with translations that means left or right or up or down movement. It's also sometimes called a slide. Um, so a vertical translation happens if your parent function, um, that could be like f of x equals x squared or f of x equals the absolute value of x. It just depends on what the parent is. If there's a value on the outside, then that shifts the vertex point up k units. So in this case, if you have a value added on the outside of the parentheses or outside of the radical, anytime it's on the outside, it goes up or down, and it always goes the same as the sign. So if it was a positive 3, it would go up 3. If it was a negative 3, it would go down 3. A horizontal translation occurs if it's inside of the parentheses. So if it's inside of the parentheses, then it always shifts it to the left or the right. And the reason it does the opposite is because it's what makes it zero inside of here because that's where the turn happens. So the turn happens with whatever makes it zero inside of here. So let me show you a couple of examples. Um, this is very, very simple, so don't overcomplicate this. Um, it does have to be in vertex form, and I will have other videos that show you how to get it into vertex form, um, but it has to be in vertex form, which is this form right here. Okay, H is the number inside, K is the value on the outside. So if we look at this particular one, the minus three means that this is going to shift it to the right three, and it's going to shift the parent function up four. So for some people, it's easier to start with having the parent function here. Remember the parent function for this one and for the next one that I'm going to do are the same because we're dealing with quadratics. The parent function, remember, is f of x equals x squared. It's a quadratic function. We have a quadratic function. Remember, the parent function always goes through 0, 0, because if I were to square 0, I get 0 as my output. If I were to square 1, I would get 1 as my output. And if I were to square 2, I would get 1, 2, 3, 4 as my output. And then the other side is because it is symmetric, it's going to be the exact same thing. So this is my parent function. So basically, if you want to start with the parent function, um, that's what we're going to do. A translation shifts each of these points. So if I take my vertex here and I shift it to the right three, one, two, three, and then I turn and go up four, one, two, three, four, this will be my new vertex. Okay, and so the pattern is it always goes to the right one, up one, and the right two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So this one's going to go off of my graph, so I'll just put a point up there. And the other side is going to do the same thing. So it's going to go left two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So it would just kind of put it off the graph. So this would be our graph. We took our parent function and we shifted it to the right three and up four. So this is the graph of this equation. The parent function, like I said, you don't have to have it on there. I just put it on there as a reference point. For the second one, I won't draw the parent function first because it's the same thing. So basically these other points, if I wouldn't have used the pattern, notice that if I go over 3, 1, 2, 3, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, it's just moved that point right 3 and up 4. It's moved this point to the right 3, 1, 2, 3, and turned and moved it up 4. Okay. So for the second example, with this one, if you notice that we have x plus 2 squared minus 3, so this time, because we always do the opposite on the inside, this one is going to tell us to go left 2, and this one is going to tell us to go down 3. So each point, so remember, normally it started at 0, 0. Well, now my vertex shifts to the left 2, 1, 2, and then down 1, 2, 3. So this would be my starting point. And then if I use the pattern, because remember that the next pattern was over 1, up 1, we would go here because over 1, up 1 squared um, would give us the same, and it's going to go the same to the left. And then remember for this, we our next point was over 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, because 2 squared is 4, we would do the same pattern here. So I would go over 2 and up 1, 2, 3, 4. We could continue forever and ever, but as long as you have a few points to just kind of help you out, 
And then it would do the same thing on this side over two and then up one, two, three, four. So hopefully you understand how to graph a quadratic in vertex form using translations. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like for me to cover, please let me know that as well.